The Sun, our giant ball of fire, might seem like the only game in town, but it's actually part of a bustling cosmic community. In this video, we'll take a tour of the Sun's nearest stars uncovering their secrets and understanding their place in our galaxy. So, let's start the discovery. Imagine having a next-door neighbor just 4.24 light-years away. That's how close Proxima Centauri, a small red dwarf star, is to our Sun. It's like being able to borrow a cup of sugar from another star system. While Proxima Centauri is much smaller and dimmer than ours, it's still a fascinating place. In 2016, astronomers made a mind-blowing discovery, a planet called Proxima b orbiting this tiny star. What's so special about Proxima b? Well, it's located in the Goldilocks zone of its star system, not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water to exist. And where there's water, there's a chance for life as we know it. Scientists are still studying Proxima b to learn more about its conditions and potential for life. But one thing's for sure, this tiny star and its orbiting planet have sparked a huge wave of excitement in the world of astronomy, reminding us that we're not alone in the vast universe. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, our closest stellar neighbor might be hosting alien life forms, right there, for 0.24 light years away. It's a thrilling thought, isn't it? The next nearest star is the Alpha Centauri Triple System. This isn't just one star, it's a cosmic party of three. Imagine two sun-like stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, locked in a gravitational dance so close they complete an orbit every 80 years. It's like a slow motion waltz across the cosmos. This stellar tango includes a distant cousin, Proxima Centauri, who circles the A and B pair in a much wider orbit. It's like a shy teenager at a family reunion, keeping a respectful distance but still part of the group. The Alpha Centauri triple system is more than just a pretty cosmic picture. It's also a hotbed of planetary discoveries. So far, astronomers have found several planets orbiting each of the stars, some of them lurking in the habitable zone. That means they could be just the right temperature for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. One particularly exciting planet is Alpha Centauri BB, orbiting Alpha Centauri B. It's about Earth-sized and might have rocky land, just like our home planet. Imagine taking a stroll on a beach under the light of two suns. The next star is Sirius isn't just a pretty face. It's a white dwarf star, a stellar veteran that has already burned through most of its fuel and collapsed into a super dense, scorching ball. Sirius packs 25 times the sun's luminosity into a slightly larger size, making it a celestial powerhouse. For ancient Greeks, it was the loyal dog of Orion, forever chasing him across the sky. Today, astronomers are studying Sirius to understand the fate of our own Sunday. Studying how white dwarfs like Sirius form and evolve helps us predict what will happen to our sun billions of years from now. But the biggest surprise about Sirius came in 1862 when astronomer Alvin Clark discovered a tiny companion star nestled beside it. This faint white dwarf, known as Sirius B, was the first of its kind ever observed. Studying Sirius B has given us crucial insights into the final stages of stellar evolution and the potential for planets orbiting white dwarfs. But if we've zoomed in on the Sun's closest cosmic companions, but our galactic tour isn't over yet. Let's step back and marvel at the sheer scale and variety of stars in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. It's estimated to hold between 100 and 400 billion stars, each one a sun like ours, and each with its own unique story to tell. Our galaxy displays stars in a dazzling array of colors, sizes, and lifespans. Red giants, these aging behemoths, hundreds of times bigger than the sun, glow with a deep red hue due to their cooler surface temperatures. Blue giants, burning hot and fast, these massive stars blaze with an intense blue light. Rigel, another star in Orion, is a blue giant, radiating over 66,000 times the luminosity of our sun. White dwarfs, these compact, dense remnants of dead stars pack incredible amounts of matter into a tiny volume, resulting in incredibly high surface temperatures and a white-hot glow. Sirius B, as mentioned earlier, is a white dwarf. Neutron stars, imagine a city squeezed into the size of a small asteroid. That's the incredible density of a neutron star, born from the collapse of a massive star. These spinning stellar corpses emit powerful beams of radiation, making them pulsars or radio pulsars. Brown dwarfs, not quite stars, not quite planets, these celestial objects fall into a twilight zone. They lack the mass to ignite nuclear fusion in their cores and emit only a faint, reddish glow. Our journey wouldn't be complete without mentioning the incredible diversity of planets these stars harbor. From scorching gas giants like Jupiter to rocky worlds like Earth, our galaxy is a veritable playground for planetary diversity. 
With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets in recent years, the possibility of habitable worlds beyond our solar system becomes more exciting with each passing day. Our galactic home is still full of mysteries. Dark matter, an invisible substance that makes up most of the galaxy's mass, remains an enigma. Black holes, regions of immense gravity where not even light can escape, continue to fascinate and perplex scientists. The ongoing quest to understand the Milky Way's structure, evolution, and potential for life beyond Earth keeps astronomers on the edge of their seats. Our cosmic tour may be nearing its end, but the journey of human exploration is far from over. The secrets of the universe beckon. To reach further and faster, we need powerful new engines. The next generation of rockets, like NASA's Space Launch System and SpaceX's Starship, promise reusable and cost-effective launches, opening up more frequent and affordable trips to space. Advanced propulsion technologies like nuclear fusion engines and space fairing sails could propel us to distant stars within decades, not centuries. Living in outer space for extended periods requires innovative solutions. Inflatable modules and 3D printed structures could offer comfortable and spacious habitats for astronauts on the Moon, Mars, or even further afield. Resource utilization will be key, using local materials like lunar ice for water and asteroid metals for construction. Sending humans on every space mission isn't always practical. Instead, advanced robots equipped with artificial intelligence can act as our robotic pioneers, venturing into dangerous environments or laying the groundwork for future human settlements. Imagine robot geologists exploring the surface of Venus or robotic miners harvesting resources from asteroids, reaching out to potential alien civilizations or communicating with missions across vast distances requires breaking the speed of light barrier. One of the greatest questions driving our exploration is, are we alone? Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are peering into exoplanet atmospheres looking for signs of biosignatures, potential indicators of life. Future missions to Mars and Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, aim to directly search for evidence of alien microbes. Space exploration is no longer a one-nation race. International collaborations like the Artemis program to return humans to the moon and the European Space Agency's ExoMars mission demonstrate the power of working together. Thanks for watching the video. Also subscribe the channel.